the past couple months at New Life, I've been preaching through the New Testament book of 1 Corinthians. Uh, it's a letter written by the Apostle Paul to a church in Corinth that he started around the year 50 AD. And this Sunday, I'm up to 1 Corinthians 13, which if it sounds familiar to you, it's because it's the famous chapter on love that you hear read at so many weddings. And I thought it would be instructive as I prepared for this Sunday just to go through one characteristic of love at a time. And the first characteristic that Paul mentions is patient. Love is patient. Now, in the original Greek, uh, these are not adjectives, actually. They're actually verbs. And so it's like saying to love someone is to be patient with them. Now, I'm smiling because today is Coronavirus Monday. Uh, my kids are all home trying to start their distance learning. I'm trying to work from home. My wife is trying to work from home. And patience has been in short supply today. There has not been much patient love going on in this house. Uh, and so if you're anything like me and you struggle with loving patiently, uh, thankfully there's hope. Um, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19, John writes that we love because God first loved us that we are empowered to love others as we understand and embrace God's love for us. So how has God been patient in his love towards us? One verse that comes to mind for me is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. In 2, cha uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, Peter is addressing um, some people who are claiming that, well, God, where's God? Why is he not judging people? Why is he not dealing with the evil in the world? And Peter says that the Lord is not slow in keeping his promises, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So Peter says, God is not, he, he's holding off on judgment, not because he's not capable of judging, but because he loves you and he's patient with you and he wants people to have the time to turn around, get their lives in line with his will, to embrace the forgiveness offered in Jesus. And so I think as we look at the patient love of God displayed towards us, that he doesn't judge us as we deserve, but he's patient with us and gives us opportunity to turn around, I think that empowers us to do the same with others in our life. The more that we understand that God held off on his judgment in order to give us time to repent, to get right, the more we can hold off on punishing and judging others, giving them opportunity to get right as we show them patient love. The more even that we see Jesus suffering patiently on the cross for our sins, the more that we are empowered to suffer patiently out of love for others. Love is patient. To love is to be patient with people, and it's hard to do that on our own. But as we understand the patient love of God towards us as displayed in Jesus Christ, we are empowered to love others with that same patient love.